Naftali Bennett is a multimillionaire and former tech entrepreneur. The son of U.S.-born parents, the former Special Forces Commando sold his startup for $145 million in 2005 and ventured into politics and the Likud party the following year. He served as Benjamin Netanyahu's chief of staff until 2008. And though he later broke away from Likud, he served as Minister of Defense, Education and Economy under various Netanyahu governments, despite their strained relations. Bennett rose to the head of the nationalist religious party Yamina in 2020 and has since made no secret of his desire to become the Israeli right's new leading figure. Unlike some of his ultra-conservative allies, Bennett holds a relatively liberal stance on gay rights and secularism. An advocate of liberalizing the economy, he's pushed for cutting red tape and taxes. But expanding settlements and annexing much of the occupied West Bank have arguably been at the center of his political platform. I believe I'm the only one in our party, the only party on this podium that uh, opposes founding a Palestinian state within the land of Israel, between the Jordan and uh, the Mediterranean. But building a viable anti-Netanyahu government could force Naftali Bennett to water down some of his most ideological views, at least for the time being. Though he long refused to work with centrist Jair Lapid, in late May he reversed his stance in what he described as the most complex decision he's made in his life.